Hey everyone, it's uh, Chuck McAfee with the Level Up team in Berkshire Hathaway. And um, just want to send you a quick little video message today and, and kind of talk about kind of current state of affairs. Um, right now it is towards kind of the end of the August 2022 timeframe. And it was interesting, just this week alone, I had several clients actually text me some messaging about kind of some of the news that's out there in the real estate world, particularly around kind of new home construction and builder confidence and, and kind of where they see the market going. And, and, and I just wanted to kind of put this out there and address it. As always, I'll answer any questions you guys have. Um, with real estate, what I have found, it is a very, very location specific kind of micro sub market specific industry so we, we got to be careful about some of the headlines that we see out in, the, in, in today's media uh, i feel like a lot of it is is swayed towards the negative messaging because that just kind of is what sells it seems like so i just want to address a few things um, some reports came out on cnbnc and some other uh, news organizations basically that home builder confidence is way low and it's down cancellations are up and and, and just kind of doom and gloom in, in the in the real estate world and in some markets, that may be true, right? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I mean, if you're in the Midwest or, or kind of maybe even in the Northeast, um, yeah, you have people migrating out of your states and, and honestly coming to the Southeast. So I live in Georgia. Most of the clients, most of the people watching this are reside in Georgia. If you're thinking about coming to Georgia, let, let's talk about what, what the market is here because you gotta be careful about some of these news organizations. Has terminations or deal cancellations increased over the last several months for new home construction? Absolutely, right? I mean, I definitely think, uh, and I'm not gonna deny that cancellations have, have increased. We've seen some pretty significant mortgage rate increases in the last several uh, months in a very, very short period of time. And, and so um, you gotta think about the life cycle of a new construction project. Um, you may go, you may have gotten under contract. Actually, I talked to a client this week. They went under contract almost a year ago and with COVID and supply chain issues and all the other stuff that's going on in the world, the builder hasn't even started their house. So they've been under contract for a year. That time they were expecting a certain mortgage rate. Unfortunately, you really can't lock in that mortgage rate for that long of a period of time. And so as time progressed, the market has changed and the market's evolved and mortgage rates um, saw a really big spike kind of in the early part of June. Um, that has calmed back down. Nobody's really talking about that yet either. Um, so mortgage rates have really kind of come back into the low fives. You may see in the media that it's sixes. That happened in June, but things have absolutely calmed down pretty quickly. Um, I think that's going to bounce around all throughout the rest of the year. So just kind of getting that out there. Um, but so if you were under contract a year ago and, and your financial situation was X and, and now the mortgage rate is, is maybe even doubled in a situation or is, is getting close to that doubling, you just may not be able to afford the, the property anymore. And so there's definitely some validity to cancellations occurring. So not naive to that, but th some of these articles make it sound that, hey, cancellations are up 30% and 40% and all the deals that are out there are falling apart. Uh, it's not true for Georgia in the Southeast. We actually have one of the lowest cancellation rates um, across the nation in, in, in the new construction world. Um, and so we're, we're used to it, we see it all the time, but don't always kind of believe some of this hype that's out there that the market's falling off, prices are gonna come down, there's gonna be a huge housing recession. We just don't see the data. Um, yes, it, cancellations have increased a little bit. They have gone up from, I think it was 6% in 2021, and now it's at 13%. So yeah, that is a big jump. It's not the 30% or 40% that they're advertising in some of these articles. Ironically, we'll, we'll post on this video too. Um, I just got this information, I think it was just earlier this week, as far as where some of the economists and some of the experts think that home price appreciation is gonna go in, into the, the balance of 2022. All of it's in the positive, all of it's in the green. I'm just gonna pull this up. We'll put the same slide up as well. Essentially, you have some subject matter experts who track all this stuff that's all real estate specific, but Fannie Mae is predicting a, a price appreciation of 16% this year. Freddie Mac, 12.8%. National Association of Realtors is projecting 11.5% price appreciation this year. Zellman, 10%, on and on and on. That's on top of the, the, the crazy growth that we've experienced over the last two years, right? 20%. We saw 29% in some of the, the metro area here in, in Atlanta. So it's not doom and gloom. Is it losing some of its intensity? Is it a shifting market? Is it, is it kind of changing around? Yeah, it feels a little bit differently. So as always, if you have any questions or if I can help answers, all I just want to send this message is don't believe the hype. I mean, you got to dive into some of these details. Talk to a local expert. In Atlanta, it's tough. We got, you know, Milton's totally different than Old Fourth Ward and all these little sub markets. So, just make sure you're talking to somebody that, that knows what's going on and has a pulse on, on what's going on in the market. So thank you guys very much for your time and hope you have a great day. Take care.